Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's reflex, we are going to understand what is basal gyrish reflex. This is also one of the most important reflexes in the cardiovascular system. So let's try to understand what is this reflex. This basal gyrish reflex, just remember in one single line. So whenever there is irritants in the heart, what is going to happen is there is going to be decrease in blood pressure and decrease in heart rate. So let's try to understand how does this happen. So this basal gyrus reflex is also called as coronary chemo reflex. Chemo reflex means it is responding to the chemicals and the coronary system that is the cardiovascular system is responding to this chemicals. So what does this happen? Why does this happen? So this experimentally whenever it was done with the injection of capsaicin or serotonin was given to the heart or the animal. What is going to happen is it was activating certain receptors that is the chemo receptors as well as the mechanoreceptors in the left ventricular wall. Please pay attention here. The brain bridge reflex is due to the atrial stretch receptors in the right atrium. But basal gyrus reflex is due to the receptors which are present in the left ventricular wall. This is very very important. So whenever these receptors are activated, what they are going to do is they are going to be sent to the central nervous system and from the central nervous system they are going to increase the parasympathetic system and decrease the sympathetic system. The next question is clinically do we see this condition? Yes, this happens whenever the person is having myocardial infarction. If there is an MI and there is production of toxic substances, this reflex can get activated. And one more reason is whenever this there is reperfusion, whenever reperfusion is done, this reperfusion will lead to lot of generation of free radicals. And this free radicals also can activate this mechano and chemical receptors in the left ventricular wall. So what is the ultimate triad of this basal gyrus reflex? The ultimate triad will lead to because there is an increase in parasympathetic, there is going to be hypotension and there is going to be bradycardia. And due to the local metabolites, vasodilatation is also going to happen. So the classical triad includes hypotension, bradycardia as well as coronary vasodilatation. And basal gyrus reflex has been implicated in vasovagal attacks also. This hypotension and bradycardia can induce the hypoperfusion of the cerebral cortex and it can lead to vasovagal attack. Vasovagal attacks can happen to multiple reasons and basal gyrus reflex is one among them. I hope it's clear. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends. Thank you so much.